shutting down is almost like you're sort of the glass frosts in front of you. This is how I would describe it, is that you're sort of in this glass box and you can't see through. Everything is happening around you, but you're in this, you're in this state. Um, so for me, that includes um, not being able to verbalise my thoughts. And you suddenly, like, the lights are brighter and the sounds are, are louder and I'll start to feel all the threads and, like, my clothes on my skin. And this can, this can happen after any point as well. It could be uh, a sense of rejection, possibly, from someone. Or um, if things haven't planned out exactly how I had them planned out in my head, changes to routine, unexpected phone call, like it could literally be something as simple as that. It's like you could you can hear that they're saying words at you, but it's not, it's just bouncing off. It's not going in. Your brain is not processing it at all. Something just goes like that. And I almost don't have the words to describe it in a way. It's like sort of like a TV game to standby mode in a way. So you're still on and the light's still on, but the screen is black. <laughs> um, if I can't shut down and I want to, it's usually, well, I will melt down. So I will sort of become quite volatile, perhaps use aggressive language, start snapping at people. Um, and I don't mean any of this. And I know that that's not okay. But when you feel like you're, you don't have a place to go, whether that's an internal place or a physical place, um, that is when it starts to get very distressing. Um, and I'll get very, I'll start shaking, I'll start pacing, really hyperventilating. Um, and it will either end up in a panic attack or crying, sobbing, screaming, shouting. <laughs> Noise cancelling headphones that completely can't hear anything. Um, I wear sunglasses indoors. I quite like plushies, so I'll have one of those. Or sensory toys, anything, anything. Like I can love to fiddle with my hands, so anything like that helps with not shutting down. So to a bit, if I know there's just one room that I can go in, that's, that's almost like enough <laughs> for me. What works for some people won't always work for another person, but a general piece of advice is ask them once if they would like to talk about it or if they would like help. Um, and if they do that, obviously, you know, um, uh, like no touching, I find that's a big thing. And usually once I've found, I've processed something, that's when I can kind of be like, okay, I'm ready for some support now from someone.